Hey everyone, welcome to our, our channel here. We got a beautiful day here in South Carolina and we wanted to share with you uh, a few things that we're doing today. Uh, we've got behind me uh, some plants that we've purchased throughout the year. Uh, they're evergreens. We use these plants to put up privacy around our property. We have some green giant uh, thujas. We have some uh, little petalums and we have some a few legustrums back there in the back. Um, these are great because they keep their leaves throughout the winter uh, and that's something we try to do to help keep privacy. So what we're going to do is show you a few things on us putting some of these in to help build up some privacy wall around here. So we got the dirt moved over with the tractor, leveled it out with the cultivator, which that's one of my favorite things to do because not only does it <clears throat> make this, even out the dirt, chops up the clumps and makes the rest of it almost powdery to where you can just run your rake over and do a final touch. Um, just taking my landscape rake here, leveling out, trying to make it so the water will have a little runoff. Obviously I'm going to have to get up on there anyways and dig the plants in, but this would be a great start to show me where we need to maybe add some dirt, have some low spots, or if we're ready to go.
one thing that's very important is knowing how far apart your plants need to be. Uh, one of the things that I like to do is just take them while they're still in the buckets, you just take them, set them down, and it gives you two things. One, it kind of shows you how far apart it's going to be from the center of your plant. The other thing is you kind of take a look and all plants are going to have better sides than others. So set them down, situate them, and then you can walk it off. You can measure it depending on what your skill level is. You can always um, take a tape measure and go how far that part needs to be. These will get anywhere between uh, maturity six foot and bigger if you just let them go. So what I'm going to do is because what I'm doing is building a privacy wall, I'm probably going to put them a little closer. So they'll probably be anywhere between four foot, five foot, and space them accordingly. And we'll see how many we need or if I need to go back and grab a few more other plants to kind of mix in with them. All right, so I got everything laid out here kind of how I want it. I'm probably going to adjust them just slightly. Um, and that's, like I said, the good thing about setting your pots out and getting a good, uh, you know, angle or if you want to curve it around, if you need them straight for aesthetics, you want to pay attention to that while you're doing your layout process. Um, I have some bags of uh, potting soil there. Um, this just happens to be uh, what I picked up. It's, it's good for... Um, tree and shrubs it's just a um, miracle Grow brand that I just happened to pick up from the store so we're gonna get these uh, holes dug um, but as you can see behind me we got some some red clay here in the upstate where we are and that's gonna require a good bit of this soil to mix in that way you don't run into having water build up it'll you know kind of form a bowl and just a clay bowl and just just have so much water that it won't really drain through so it's really important to have the drainage and and honestly a little bit of um, nutrients from that soil is really going to help this um, in this soil as well so i'm going to get these um, holes dug and we're going to mix in some soil and get these things put in the ground and wrap this project up all right so i'm finishing up here with putting these in the ground and again I know I'm taking the easy route by just adding dirt and having nice soft soil to dig into, but nevertheless, it's still very important. A few things that I've mentioned, and that is spacing, knowing your plants, size, um, how you want them, you know, to look when they're when they're getting to the mature state um, for what your purpose is. Again, my purpose is for privacy. We're trying to build a little little border wall here on the on the end of my privacy, uh, property line here, and. Um, but before I finish up this last one, I just want to show you. So it's very important <clears throat> when you're digging these holes, you've got the size of your pot here. And as you can see, you've got roots going at the bottom. So it's definitely time to get this one put in the ground. But you want to dig your hole twice the size of your pot. And as I mentioned before, potting soil in this red clay is very important uh, for drainage and for nutrients. So just, uh, just again, uh, get, your, get your spacing, dig your hole twice the size, Add some nutrients to potting soil depending on what climate you're in. Uh, again, we have red soil here. So um, I'm going to finish up digging this and um, we'll get it right back out, get it nice and clean. And then I'm going to add a little bit of mulch that I just happen to have on the property. And we'll get some, uh, some double ground mulch put on this and uh, that'll help keep the, um, the moisture in there. And as the fall continues to go on and we'll get some new growth on this and hopefully it'll uh, establish some good roots before we hit wintertime.
So, uh, like I mentioned earlier, I've got some double ground mulch here that I've had from other projects around the property. Um, and essentially all this is, is just your regular mulched up wood, just mulched up twice. And that's why they call it uh, double ground mulch. Um, I find this to be a great mulch for especially just a, a borderline property line. Um, just because it, it's going to do its job. It's going to it's going to keep the moisture for the plants when it needs it. It's also going to help the plants stay warmer in the winter time. And that's what we need when we're planting in the fall. So the other great thing about this mulch is, is that it's just going to um, kind of decompose into the ground and help the uh, soil um, become richer over time. It also has a um, little bit of a um, fertilizer um, help and not much, but a little bit. So. Um, just gonna finish um, just roughly topping this off with mulch here and um, yeah I'll give you a finished shot as soon as we uh, get done doing this all right and so that's a wrap on today for putting these shrubs in the ground like I said this is just a little privacy barrier that we're trying to put in on the back side of the property here to hide some of the hide some of the ugly back there but we've uh, started with some ligustrums and now I've switched over to some but hopefully uh, you've enjoyed this video and maybe learned something or uh, had a good chance to maybe have a laugh even. But uh, if you've enjoyed this, hit the like button, uh, hit subscribe. Uh, we'll uh, definitely show more things what we do around here on our little farm and um, just all kinds of different projects we like to like to get into. Uh, so thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.